that one of the most important causes of early kidney transplantation is recurrent urinary tract infections in childhood friends i am dr tamir baran sahu senior consultant in pediatrics and neonatology at apollo hospital bhuvneshwar today we will discuss about utis or urinary tract infections and how these are different from other childhood infections first of all friends ki how common is this so it is one of the common infections in childhood and it is seen more in boys in the first year of life and after the first year of life it is seen more commonly in girls the reason is that uh, congenital anomalies of the urinary tract are more common in boys so it presents in the first year of life after that it is more common in girls because of the physical proximity of the urethral meatus to the anus so how can we identify urinary tract infection it presents in the form of high grade fever with recurrent vomiting dribbling of urine itching over the genitals and other than that frequency and uh, uh, the child may feel some burning or pain during menstruation as well whenever we have a doubt we must confirm it and uh, the, to diagnose it we ne- will need a, a u- urine routine and microscopy other than that a culture and the sensitivity of the urine at times we may also advise you to go in for an ultrasound of the uh, kub region that is kidney urinary bladder region in cases of recurrent utis we may have to go in for some higher investigations also like uh, dtpa scan dmss scan or mcug about the treatment part treatment totally depends on the culture reports and suitable antibiotics depending on the culture are prescribed to eradicate the infection completely which brings us friends to the main part that uh, how why is this infection so important so friends it is important for you to know that infections in the kidneys take very long to erad- to be eradicated completely because of the unique anatomical peculiarities of the kidney add to that the fact that there is always possibility of scar formation so every uti is a fresh insult to the kidney and which leads to loss of healthy kidney tissue and which in turn leads to scar formation this repeated scar formation over a period of time lead to kidney failure so that is why it is very important to diagnose utis properly and treat them which brings us friends to the last part that what can we do to prevent this problem first and foremost ample water intake that is the mainstay of treatment that when the bladder is repeatedly emptied that is the first line of defense against utis other than that in children we should also treat worm infestation and constipation if it is present many people do not realize that constipation is one of the risk factors for utis all these have to be treated very aggressively to conclude friends neuro- urinary tract infections in children are to be prevented meticulously diagnosed diligently and treated aggressively thank you